All right, in this brief video, I'm gonna to talk to you about mute groups and how to do assignments to these mute groups, okay? So um, we'll start right over here in the middle of the console. Let's start right at the MLM for a second. I'm gonna show you where you access the mute groups. It's in this right-hand TFT screen here. And if you'll notice, on the left-hand side of that TFT, you see six mute groups. These are the first six mute groups of 24 that are available for S6L. These six mute groups will be on the top level at all times. You'll be able to get to them no matter where you are on the console. Now that said, the way we access the other uh, remaining mute groups is uh, in the right-hand side of that TFT. There's another uh, button to the uh, upper right here that says mute groups. If we just press on that, it expands the TFT to show us the first 12 and then if we press the next key, we get the next 12, the, the 13 through 24 uh, mute groups that are available there. Okay, so uh, let's talk about how to actually program uh, assignment to one of these mute groups. Uh, mute group assignment is a multi-assign workflow. Now, it is uh, different from the other multi-assign workflows only in the fact that it needs to be initiated from the universe screen, okay? Uh, so let's go do that right now. As you can see on the universe view, I have inputs up right now, and I'm just gonna go select mutes. And you can see uh, on the mutes page, we have an attention uh, touch button that lets us know that we're attentioning whatever we touch. So the first move is to attention the mute group that you wanna program. I, I'm just gonna do number one. We'll just do mute group number one. From then you need to, from there you need to attach it to multi-assign workflow. So there is a touch button on the universe screen that says multi-assign. We can use that one, or we can use the one on the control surface. Either either place is going to be uh, the same move. The point being, it has to come from the universe screen. This has to be you have to be on this screen to be able to get into the programming mode. All right. So we've attentioned our mute group. We're in multi-assign mode now. Now anything that we attention will be assigned to that mute group, be it input, output, whichever we decide to do. And of course we can do that in two ways now. Uh, we can do it with the regular attention buttons on the channels themselves. And this is certainly doable. We can certainly do it this way if we choose to do it. Um, but it's gonna require that we bank down through all of the inputs and outputs to get to what we want. There's actually an easier way to do it and it's taking advantage of the universe view. So for instance, if we go now to the inputs page of the universe view, we can see the channels that are in this mute group assigned. Matter of fact, we can see all the channels just by scrolling and we can get to them very, very quickly. Same thing for outputs. If we wanna add additional outputs to this mute group, uh, auxes, groups, matrices, whichever we choose to add to the mute group, uh, we can do that there. It's actually a much faster way, I think, than actually tunnel tunneling down uh, through your banking, all right? So once we've made the selection, it's just simply clicking OK, and we're off to the races. We've now programmed that mute group. And we can, of course, check it by engaging the mute group, and we see flashing red mute buttons across the inputs that have been muted as uh, a result of that mute group button being pushed, okay? So this is probably as good a time as any uh, to also describe how our mute statuses work here. As you notice right now, they're flashing, uh, but there are other uh, mute modes that we can uh, initiate while it's doing this, all right? So let's say, for instance, I actually wanted to unmute a channel without unmuting the rest of the, uh, the group. I don't wanna have to unmute the mute group, I just wanna unmute the single channel. Well, of course, we can do that at any point here. A single press of a uh, channel that is in that mute group and uh, has a flashing mute will simply unmute it. I've kind of isolated a channel right here in the zoomed view so that we can concentrate on that, all right? So you can see the other channels are still uh, muted as a result of the mute group, but one of the channels is now unmuted, all right? So what happens now if we want to remute that channel? Well, we can just simply remute it. Now, notice that that channel has a solid mute group or mute light now right okay so that this is going to be called an implicit mute meaning uh even if we un unmute the mute group now that channel is still going to stay muted all right we've kind of overridden the group there uh, to get it muted okay so i'm going to go back to our mute group assign you'll see that everything is flashing so the question then becomes well how do i get it back under the control of the mute group it's just one more press of the mute button and now it's flashing signaling to you that it's under control of the mute group and of course if we unmute the mute group 
they all become unmuted, okay? So kind of a three-stage affair there. We have mute group, uh, mutes, unmute, implicit mute, and then back to the mute group again, okay? So it's a really, really handy feature. Uh, it, uh, it, it really works great to be able to access a channel quickly while, you're, while you have things muted without having to unmute all of the channels at once. It's a, it's a great workflow. All right, that's gonna do it for mute group assignment. Please keep checking back for more S6L operational videos. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.